Hey everybody, good morning. I've come down to Crescent Springs today on Beach Street at the crossing on the rat hole on the big old hill that comes into the Ohio River Valley. Uh, they chug and chug and chug up this hill. We've been here before. Uh, I've showed you some broken knuckles and stuff that can't happen here. And they also come down this hill pretty quickly. So when they come up here, they struggle, they chug, they stay in the rails, they do what they can. We're gonna get some of that action today. So, when the first string comes rolling, we're in the middle of a block here, so we don't have much signals, but we got our scanner and we got our ears. So when those trains come, we'll get the video rolling. All right, everybody, stay tuned. First one of the day, coming up the hill. All right, what we got? What's this? I was uh, eating some breakfast, just enjoying my breakfast, and gates started going down. You gotta be on your game here. I'm, I'm glad that it's gonna be nice today. We're gonna get 70 something degrees today. But man, you guys can still hear that locomotive just pulling. Center models aren't as heavy as some of these mixed manifests trying to get up this grade, but still cool. You can just hear the strain that the pool's putting on these cars and on these couplers. It's insane, but it's really cool. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that. <laughs> oh, look at that. I don't think that's supposed to look like that. supposed to look like this guy right here. <laughs> but it didn't. It looked pretty busted up. said before about the camera doesn't do this great justice uh, there's another spot that I kind of want to go to today that's on the same line it's just down the hill from here but we're gonna hang up here for a little bit eating some breakfast and drinking some coffee thrown down. I smell fresh mulch. Seeing the spine cars and the trailers like that makes you miss the uh, Triple Crown road, ra road railers. Um, 
Dolltooth and 1960 Gambit, I think, caught him not too long ago. Maybe a few years ago, that was the last of it. And every once in a while, you'll see him on other pages, I guess, but I have it right down here. All right, there they go around the bend. And it's south. All right, guys, first one of the day. Keep standing by for more. Thanks for watching. All right, we got number two coming. All right, look at those shiny box cars. All right. Shorty. That's a local. There they go. We'll keep standing by. That's what we're here for. Thanks for watching, folks. Stay tuned. All right, gang. We got one coming down the hill. It might be the same guy. I think that's the same fella, but uh, that's yeah, because that's a lot of boxcars. Yeah, it's a nice mixed manifest. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, that sun's coming out. There's some Paul Bunyan's toothpicks right there. The telephone poles. Sun's starting to come out, starting to feel pretty good, gang. Some steel plates. Excuse me. Gotta get some coffee. I heard him call clear way up the hill there, but I uh, couldn't exactly tell. Some Autoracs full of some cars here. Headed to Cincinnati. Oh, right. Wait for that sun to come up over those trees finally and start really warming things up over here. All these truck frames. 80 per car. guy for I think. Zarf. Yeah. Three levels on that guy. Five cars per level. So when you have regular cars you could probably have uh, three levels SUVs. Big articulated auto rack there. We got SUVs, you can probably have two pickup trucks, two. Look at that. Huh. I could get closer to the ballast, but uh, right in front of me looks pretty muddy and pretty soppy. So I'm just going to stay here. Get a good enough view right here. A couple of these auto racks, yep. 
These guys in the end here are empty. There he goes, down the hill. Got a flag and a Freddy on back. All right, gates are going up, people going about their day. And I'm gonna go back to my coffee. All right, thanks for watching, folks. All right, everybody, patience does pay off. Guess what's coming up the hill? Steel coil train. One of my favorites. I never get to catch him. I haven't caught him in a while. Guess who is catching him now? Damn crossing gates in the way. Here he comes. Let's see what he's got on back. Climbing the hill, baby. Steel coil for no joke. Look at all that. Loaded down south. He's ever down a wall. If anybody's down a wall today, can get a nice one. Yeah, it's nice and long today. All right, everybody, that was a good one. Steel coil train is loaded down is always a good one. Um, not only catch them coming north with the slabs, catch old Slabosaurus. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. All right, everybody. does pay off. I got out of my truck for a little and I was standing around and I got the steel coil train and then I got this guy coming around the bend on the hill. This is good. You can't just sit in your truck the whole time. I mean, I guess you're good, but you got to get the same shot over and over and over again. Oh, and that sun is now coming over and it feels good. Right. Oh, these empty guys. Some LP gas here. We're standing kind of close to one of the uh, the, the main here, so we've got to keep looking over my shoulder to make sure that's coming up northbound. Gotta wait for that steel coil train to get out of the way, even though he's got priority, they do open him up once he gets past and up the hill. Uh, 
They'll fly through Walton and Verona. All right, look at that. I got a DPU. DPU coming through. That's the weird dynamic for that. Just the way it sounded. Oh, got a open hatch. Couldn't tell if anything was leaking out of there anyways. I'll be gas because it's not odorized. Cars, some of them some of the tankers look empty though, so there's that. Look at the last car. Press center flat car with eight axles. Alrighty. Nice little shorty, but looked heavy nonetheless. DPU in the middle. Cool, man. We'll keep standing by. I'm glad we got some. Alright, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm going to wait for him to go around a bend, I guess. Or this truck to go past, whatever's first. And there he goes. What a, there's other parts of this I would like to explore, but so let's see if we can go find them. Got another one coming down the hill. And another one that wants to play on his horn. <laughs> Keep on rolling here. Sun's starting to come out, get kind of bright. I was hanging in the truck because, uh, well, I wanted to go sit down. That's the only place to really go sit down. <laughs> That restaurant over there is uh, cooking up some food. It smells mighty good. Glad I got some snacks in the truck there to uh, keep me from going to buy a bunch of food. Seaboard Marine. More refrigerator cars. Refrigerated containers, I should say. Sorry. My apologies. I'm going to have to put my sunglasses on after this and uh, take my hoodie off. Getting nice and warm out here. That is kind of a shorty. All right, there they go, folks. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Well, grabbing a snack, and I got one coming up the hill. Man, 
man, he's really, really struggling. He's heavy. Listen there, him. He probably still hear that. Ah, oh, dang. Really heavy. Try and see what's up there. Soybean or corn. But most of those pigeons down at Canal Ridge probably <laughs> got most of what they could, you know. God, I can still hear him off in the distance pulling. It's off my truck, get something to snack on there and get a swig of water and bing, 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 bing goes the crossing and here I am and here he is. That's these heavy ones that take a while getting up here. And these grainers are absolutely full. The springs are compressed, so it is one heavy train. Well, you can just hear that way. Dang it, I might be on the wrong side. That's fairly newish, it looks like. Bet you that I shouted it out, Timmy is on this train, and if he ain't on my side, he's on the other side. Hiding once again. It's a long one. These grain trains usually are. I wonder if he's got a helper, if he's got a man DPU or man helper. I ain't seen Timmy yet. That doesn't mean he won't appear. But man, our second ago, I thought I heard a couple pulling each other. That would be crazy to see one of those break right here.
Yeah, I'd sure like to know what he's hauling, and I can't see up there. Usually they're overfilled, but... Nine times out of ten, he's carrying soybeans or corn. Yeah, sounds like he has a helper. Yes, he does. Here it comes. No Timmy, but that's all right. He's not the most important thing on these trains. That guy is. Man helper. First time I've gotten a man helper on this guy. On this line, I should say. Look at how hard he's working. Man, that's crazy. He is working hard to get that help get that guy up the up this grain. For any question of how high or steep the grade is? Um Wow, that's loud. If any question of how steep the grade is, it rises one to two percent every mile. So I think my math's right there. All right, folks, there you go. Hopefully we get a little bit more and we gotta get out of here soon. Thanks for watching. Okay, I've switched locations. I just right down the street actually. Um to I'm still right on the rat hole. So obviously that's going uphill and uh, that's going downhill towards Cincinnati. Um, but uh, there was a guy there that started spraying some chemicals on the grass. Uh, so I moved because I'm not tracking that stuff home to my dogs. So, or my family, eh, whatever. Uh, but I'm here, but I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> So it's locations. I got to get out of here in about an hour. So hopefully we get something. We got that man uh, helper that came back down the line that helped that grain train go south. Or go back up the line that helped that grain train go down. Down south. So, hey, we'll stand by for about an hour. We'll see if we get anything. If not, hey, we're out here in the sun and we're enjoying the day. All right, looks like we've got the local boy coming. Long Hood Ford. He's on the main closest to me. Boxcar. Damn camera. There we go. I want to cooperate. There he goes. Back down to Guest Street. Came out of Erlanger, or just about there. Uh, working the industries by the old, uh, where the old shoe fly was, probably in Richwood, actually. So, all right. Here's the hope, but we get one or two more. I got about a half hour left. All right, folks, thanks for watching. All right. Now, I believe this is 26C. 28C, 28C, okay. 28C. I had a smoke, I guess. Going 
going down a hill. Alrighty, there he goes. Yeah, with any luck between now and uh, the next five minutes, you get a north or southbound, I should say. Southbound. But I doubt it. This might be it for me today. That's okay. We got, uh, we got some intermodal, some mixed manifest, some locals, grain train with a manned helper, pretty good. I cannot complain at all. It'd be great to get a train me right now, but. had that car before flipping everybody off <laughs> go and I think that's gonna do it for me today far enough a southbound rounds the bend right now that is it for me I gotta get gone going all right everybody thanks for watching all right everybody that's it for me today I'm out of here I gotta go get stuff done Hey, thanks for joining me today. It was a beautiful day out here, so I really appreciate you joining me uh, catching some trains. It was a pretty good day down here in Crescent Springs. So um, with that, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that little alert button. You get the notification for when I post. You guys are really helping me grow the channel, and I really, really appreciate it. Like I said yesterday, I'm creeping up on 900 subscribers, and after that's 1,000, and boom, the sky's the limit. I love it. Thank you guys so very much. And with that... I'll bid you adieu once again. Until we meet again out here on the high iron, have a great day.